Okay, this morning we're going to be assembling flap rounds onto the wings of a B-Light aircraft. This is the horn that goes on the end of your flap rod. This is your next piece that your bearing load that mounts on here. It's a free flow, free turning on the end of your flap rod. With your horn there. This is the flap rod. We have three places that we mount. That is your hinge points. Okay, the parts that you mount to that are already on the wing are the aluminum angles that are sticking out. There'll be three on each wing to match up to the three uh, bearing points and, and hinges. We're going to assemble this end. Slide the bushing on to where it's free flowing. And always with this to the top. This is your horn. Slides in there. And it will actually be about that angle there when we get finished. We're going to lift the flap on up to the wing. To start to clamp it on. This is just preliminary clamping till we get our spacing, get everything lined up. Start with the middle, work your way to this end. Once you've got it in place, then you're going to measure to where your distance is the same at this end as it is at that end of the platform and wing. We're going to get our spacing. Keeping our spacing all the same. This is a one inch block. Then you're going to go to the end and eyeball down. Make sure that everything looks lined up that way. Sometimes it gets a little out of line, so make sure that nothing is slipped on you. On, on some of these, the hinge will be on this side and others on this side of the bracket. This one has to be on this side. So I'm making sure that this is down on the aluminum, not sticking way up, and we still have our spacing. We're using a long 12 inch, 3 16 inch bit for A and 3 hardware. Make two holes here. I'm also guiding the bit here to keep it off of here and my finger lays under here to keep the drill and the chuck off of the wing. Stick an A in three. To 
keep our spacing. That also holds it in place while you drill the other hole. Bring up the drill and do the same thing, keeping your finger down here to protect any chafing on the wing. And then your bit. I'm putting a little pressure on the bit to help hold it straight. Pick up another A and three bolt and nut, two washers. Place it in place and you Take the clamp off. You just do that with each one of them all the way down and then across the second wing as well. free flowing, no binding, this is your flapper on rigging template, always part of old rag or something on there to keep it from scarring. It's going to sit up like that. Clamp it in place. I always clamp two places. That way it's not going to move at all on you. Then we go back down to the horn. We're going to set the horn at a 90 degree off of here. Down, over to this hole. The reason for that is when you fold the wings, these will come across each other and without binding. Then you measure here and put your clevis and your addition that you need on it. This is the angle that that sits at neutral. This will be your clevis. That's what's going to go here. Keeping in mind you're going to go 90 degree. So what I'm going to need here looks like is just a short addition. I've got a long one here. I'll have to get a short one there. It's about a, it looks like a one inch or inch and a half extension on here. And then at the other end of the cable you will be putting approximately the same inch and a half, sometimes two inch to get everything to line up and keep center to center when you move. Unfortunately that is not cut enough. That puts this way too low. 
this is our extension for your cable with the jam net. This would be your clevis. You like that. This would be your pin. It locks it into place. And don't drop these, they're hard to find sometimes. <laughs> This would be your lock pin. We will go on We're doing is attaching this to get the angle that we need. The pin goes through and locks. We've got this set at neutral. We go to the other end of the cable and make sure that we have half flow of where it's sitting now so that you at neutral it's halfway. And you're going to set that. You'll make one of these for that end as well to get our length make the adjustments, tighten it in, then you're going to drill holes to put rivets into this and this will also get glued with 2216. It sets up and then it's ready. <laughs> 